Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you found this video. It's on Irish soda bread. As I am making this, it's St. Patrick's Day, and unfortunately we have a crisis in the country, which we're going to make, like the Italians, lemonade out of the lemons. Let's turn a crisis into a good situation. And by that, I mean, this is the perfect opportunity with younger people out of school to get in the kitchen and help with the chores, like learning how to cook. These are some easy things that I'll put in a category of cooking with a family. And it's instant gratification. And they're really healthy recipes because they, it, you know, we should be eating healthy now because you want to keep your immune system going to fight the virus. God forbid if you get it. And hopefully it's with ingredients that you probably already have in your cupboard. So the Irish soda bread, fast, easy, it falls in the category of a quick bread. So it's not yeasted, it doesn't have to sit overnight, it doesn't take all day to make. This recipe is prepared, mixed, formed, and out of the oven in one hour. It's Paul Hollywood's recipe, the British guy, but I found no reason to tweak it because it works perfect. If you don't happen to have buttermilk in your refrigerator, you could sour a little bit of milk by putting a little bit of lemon juice into some regular milk or perhaps you could just use plain milk, but you sort of want the buttermilk because the acidity in the buttermilk gives the bread its rise. Anyway, and then also in this bread recipe, I didn't cut it the traditional way because I think it's really good to have the day after for sandwiches or any time for sandwiches. Because of the whole wheat flour in it, you're also getting a lot of fiber in this bread and it fills you up. So it's really good all the way around. Anyway, I hope you find this informative. And if you do make this recipe, make sure to take photos and share with me. Feel free to leave comments as well, but it only takes a couple of minutes. So let's get going. Jig's dinner in St. Patrick's Day definitely calls for some Irish soda bread. And it's so easy you won't believe it. Couple ingredients, stir it, put it in a 400 oven for about a half hour, and you have bread. This is in the quick bread category, so let me show you how I do it. You've got to have a scale that makes life so much easier. And what I'm going to do is weigh out 250 grams of white, unbleached, unbromated, all-purpose flour. And then to that, I'm going to add 250 grams of a whole wheat flour. It'll add a lot of nuttiness to this. And it's really good. Now I could tear the scale, hit the tear button, it'll take it down to zero. But hey, you know what? 250 and 250 is 500, so we'll just assume that I can add, and we're going to put in the 250 grams of whole wheat flour to the 500 gram mark. And if you blow it, you can always take a little bit off the top. To that, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. I like kosher, sea salt. Definitely not Morton's iodized. Teaspoon baking soda. And we're going to whisk that around. The sifting days are over. For those that remember, remember those sifters that you used to have to squeeze in your hand? And then we moved up to strainers. Well, now years later, somebody figured out a whisk works and I'll be darned if it doesn't work well. So we want to whisk together our ingredients. And then I'm going to put this back on the scale and we're going to weigh out 420 milliliters of buttermilk 
a milliliter of buttermilk is equal to a gram. So I've already shaken this up. We're going to weigh out 420 grams. Though my scale does weigh in milliliters, you can buy them so that they weigh both ways. And in it goes. And then we're going to stir this up. I'm going to mold it into a shape of a bread. Cut the top of it and into the oven. I'm baking this on a nice thick pizza stone. I'll put a link in the bottom of this video to it. I love it. It's a pizza craft stone. I bought a rectangle that fits the bottom of my oven so that I can leave it there. I think it measures something like 20 by 15, which is my bottom shelf. And I really absolutely love it. And the reason I want to bake on that is because it retains the heat really well. Now you do have to do a portion of this with your hand. I'm saving a mess on the counter by putting the majority of this together in the bowl. I'll finish it on the counter. You can see it now has a good shape to it. So, out of the bowl it comes. And we'll knead this a couple of times just to get it to come together and give it a good shape. I'm cupping this underneath. See what I'm doing? Forming it and just pushing it underneath. I can't work it too much more because it's getting wet and sticky now. But that has a nice shape to it. Okay. On to my little baking sheet. This is a cute little quarter sheet that I like. And I'm going to score the top of it and off to a 400 oven. I'll set the timer just in case I get carried away doing something else, but half hour. Isn't that a great fast and easy bread? Look at it. Oh my God. The crust is wonderful. The interior is great and make sure to let it cool before you cut it. And you're going to find so many uses for this bread. I particularly kind of like it for sandwiches too, after the corned beef. So um, the next day with leftover corned beef is going to make a great Reuben. I made a tuna melt out of it the other night and it was beyond fabulous. You can add cheese or tomato. It's really a versatile skill and bread. So anyway, I hope you like it. Leave me comments. If there's other videos that you'd like to see, please feel free to ask. And if you did like this video, share with your friends. I get a little bit of monetary rewards from YouTube. It helps pay the bills, which will also then help pay for the next video. So thanks for watching and see you on the next episode. Oh, and look down in the description for the link to the pizza stone the link to the scale, and all sorts of other things that I find. I think you'll find them useful. Stay healthy and stay safe.